Now, by my good life, media soon the Bussian for audio be a trendy pan. Now, audio Nimunoyan IGP, Dr. George Akufu Dan Pray, Edia Pima, Edin Sambibri Abba, Nanana Mabobo, and Nami DB Eba Besomono, Nansen Mamma Cass and Munche Chimusuno, make Kyle say, Yet Thomas has come a come with power, Mammy, and Possu Pine so, Papa Sonny D as a young comma, your number Nini, zero five four seven six zero three zero. Eight five. You enjoy home see. I was young for audio be a trend. Then I audio name no yam papa. Doctor George Akufu dan pray at the PM. Now audio no voice no a year. You see O P George A Mensa George Alex Mensa a voice and a new woman. Now some are working in and say A and I G P. I was saying another damn car a hoofer do. It's only free ideas if you say on one home wedding. And you know why you're crying a bit in your quiet year M P P that you be at to say next year's year two about nine P P to me by power B M. And some be brave and okay cafe home. Na odo yi enam yen papa bo green na bo eso ene de baaye na anse ne be kwakoti ono so ano asem nsem bia odi tu jo wa oni committee ni kosia ye no make i o say ye to asase kama kama bi pa wan ka se abaso kan so o bo so ni di asase yon koma ye number ni ni 0547603085 yen kosia papa bo green na bo embra you see yourself connected with the with the tape yes head Good enough to tell us the rest of the individuals that you were engaged in that conversation with? Well, uh, one Commander Asari. Okay, please go slowly. Yes. The police Commander. Yes. But I don't know which district or which region or which section he commands. Okay. But I will, he introduced himself to me when he came to my office. Okay. That he was a police commander. These are the police headquarters. And I so uh, I asked him what is where does he know me? Mm. And he told me that during the time of political campaign, twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen, twenty sixteen, I used to come to work. President, the vice president, and the Alaji shops. And I know that he has APCs to APCs to. Okay. Who is the other individual apart from uh, uh, Commissioner Sari that was on tape? Uh, apart for Commander Sari, uh, there was one man also later joined. Call Commander uh, COP Mensa. Okay. That he's on leave now, but as to his retirement, that he is also part of it. Yes. Mm. So you were only three? Then later, when the meeting were going on, one, I didn't see the person, it was on phone. One, uh, JP. Who is also a, a police superintendent mm -hmm. at the police headquarters? But I haven't seen him. He, he was he talked to me on phone, and uh, I listened to him on phone. Okay. So, where is the location of your office where this place? I did that the taping took place. Uh, my office at Osu. Osu. Just direct road for seat, also police station. So you want to tell this uh, committee that all that was said on the tape is valid? Oh, it's valid. Okay. So members of the committee, he has authenticated the tape that he's identified the individuals who are speaking on the tape. And uh, now you can commence the interrogation. Yes. And uh, I'm sorry. I have never met him in a way, but it was a time before I seen North election. One of my children 
called Ted Bugri called me and said, Daddy, one police officer wanted me to bring him to your office. And I asked him for what? He said, he can't tell me. I will bring him to him, to you, then maybe he will tell you why he wants you for me. So I said, OK, you can come with him. So it is Asari who came with that, my son. When Asari came and introduced himself to me, that is a police com uh, commander, Asari. He wanted to come and see me. And I said, OK, here I am. You can go ahead. And what he said was what I just going to say. He said, they want me to come. He want to come and see me so I could talk to the president. And that what is going on is not the best. So to talk to the president about what? He said, the, the IGP is not the government or the, pre, uh, the party. If we want to use him for 2024 20, election, we cannot reach the eight that we are talking about. So I asked him why. He said it's an NDC. I said, how come NDC become IGP. Why you waited, you've been given the post, and this time of the day, you are coming to talk. Have you mentioned it? Have you, have you seen the, the, uh, the president? He says he's a party member. He's been in this party, and that message has reached the president, but the president is not interested in changing the IGP. So they have already sent so many people to him, and at long last somebody said, it may be back, I could also give a word to the president, maybe he will listen. And I said, okay, me, I can't listen, I can't go, unless you, let me convince that the man is an NDC. If I go and tell a say without knowing, and later I discover that what I'm telling the president is, is not true, the president will not have respect for me. And as a chief, a party member of the party, a party official, I don't want to go and talk something that later they'll say, I see, and it's not true. Then they started telling me a lot about the IGP is up and doing. He even told me that this assumption of election, if we allow IGP to go there, we'll lose the election. And I became scared. <coughs> IGP doesn't go there to vote, but if we can go there and we we'll lose the election, then my, my annals was sickened. <laughs> so he told me, he's bet me. I should wait and see. The election is coming in 10 days' time, and with this IGP present there, who went about getting nothing. So I listened to him. I said I'll go and tell the president, but before I go, I have to make sure what I'm going to tell him, it is the truth and nothing by the truth. <clears throat> so I resettled him to a different day. 
then I contacted some people in the police. Said, some members of the police council. I said, ah, this is what some police officer has come to tell me about our IGP. And you are a member of the police council. How do you see him? He also gave me his opinion that, but he disagreed with what Commander Asari said. I tried to call the interior minister. He didn't pick my call. When I was the chairman of the Northern Regional Party, I used to have a bodyguard. I called that bodyguard who claimed he worked with uh, <coughs> the IGP in Greater Accra Region as a police commander there. And he also gave me how he knew the, the IGP. So I said, fine. And then the second time he came and uh, I listened to them. He told me that he had got somebody who is more qualified and who is also a true party member. And that man can take over from the IGP. So he want the person to come. So I said, okay, you can bring the person. So the second time he come to meet me, he came with the person. And that is the person, Shio Pimesa. So I asked Shio Pimesa, I remember if I, you've come to my office before, you say yes. I said, ah, but then I knew you when you were telling me you had somebody. I didn't know that it was you. And that means you are really good. So I also listened to that man. And that man also talked. And in fact, I was scared if our government and party should have an IGP who can hold meeting with your mama and then this is their meeting then we are in Taibon. <coughs> so I listened to them and I said, okay, you will need to come back. So I was also doing it while consulting some other people, what I'm hearing and what they've come to tell me to go and tell the old man. I even promised Commander Sari that if he himself will even come. Then I'll go with him to the president so that the, I will sit down, sit down <coughs> so that he will not talk to the president directly. But he told me that day he was traveling. <coughs> so he wanted one GB, who should say police superintendent, to come and join me. He will equally say the things they know about the IGP. So he called JB on phone. I spoke to him. He said a lot on phone. And I told him, okay, Sunday, 3 o'clock, I'm going to book an appointment to go with you to the president. He said, yes, he will be with me at that time. The Sunday, I called the JB. My friend, where are you? Meet me at Afrikuku. I drive with you to the present place. He said, oh, he was in the Eastern region for a program. So I said, ah, but you say you were coming. Such an important thing you both came to the office. And now you go and meet the president and I was go there with you. You won't go. I was so disappointed. So. decided that I need to get the information properly. And the proper way was to look for a, a tape, to tape all what we have been discussing and discussing, so that I will know where to send it. So that when I send it to the president or anybody, they can't deny 
neither somebody will think that I am concocting things we chiefs who don't like lie. So I tell lies, I will die. So the truth of the story is that the tape is correct. The voice there, they are there, and they came to me. So <coughs> Thank you. You seem to give an impression that um, you've had a previous and uh, also this gentleman called uh, JB. Mm. And then it was the second time. It was the second time yeah, that you commanded. Sorry, brought him. Okay. Mm. So it, there was a previous conversation with this individual before you did the taping. Yes. No. The first thing when the what the commander Sari met me and told me, in fact, I get scared. So I say anything I will do. I'll record whatever they talk to me. No, Chief, I, I, I'm, I'm. I, I want to find out from you that. Has there been a previous conversation which is off tape, and subsequently you schedule them to come to you and you tape them? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's what it is. All right. Well, I'm saying you have a public green now, but at the two, John, and waiting a committee, no FRA in COP, George Alex Mensah, it's when I'm saying. Oh, do you know a young on a kind and I say no one or see soup is say or no and a cassie in two IGP in Friday as well, sir. And then simply remember, but also audio parts be there edited a whole day on a kind when you cry a whole no a fast so a best and a voice and simply brain a PMO you could see a timer non a committee no action commune embra. Commissioner, can you explain what you meant by this IGP is not correct? What has he done? Now, watch it. I will not deny that fact today, tomorrow, or the next day. I will make that statement again. That the current Inspector General of Police is not managing the police service well. It's something I will not run away from. I will say it everywhere, anywhere that I go. And you can do your own investigations, call police officers underground and find out from them. Commissioner, calm down. Calm down. Can you assist this committee? Is he within the context of your statement? It had to do with elections. So let's do some quick analysis of his conduct relative to elections. Has he evinced some level of unprofessionalism when it comes to the policing of elections to the best of your knowledge? Because you spoke within the context of the conduct of elections. I want you. My concern was and is that as we speak, majority of police officers are not happy. And if these same people are those who are going to police the elections, and remember, police officers, they vote. Their wives vote. Their children vote. Their mothers and fathers vote. That is my concern. And so you were unhappy that with the posture of this IGB your party will lose elections. Is that correct? Yes. Is the statement made? Yes. Our party, is, 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 is that correct? We lose elections. We are happy because IGP is pursuing uh, wouldn't it near to the benefit of your party because it's quote and unquote just and fair. So, 
So, Chairman, at that time we were talking about politics. And I was talking to a political figure. Are you a politician? Yes, of course, I am. There's nobody here who is not a politician. As a serving police officer? I am on leave pending retirement. When you had the discussions with Uri Nabu, Chief Uri Nabu, sorry, sorry, you spoke within the context of elections. Now let me ask you this question. Has this IGP ever policed elections over the period that you are aware of? Mr. Chair, I need clarification from the from the, the vice. Are you asking whether he has policed election as IGP before or as a policeman? I said this IGP. This IGP. And so, as IGP, has he policed any election that you know of? In his capacity as IGP, not police officer. No, I. Yes, there was. Maybe the Kumaruba election, maybe, yeah. Oh, did he, in the course of the conduct of the Kumaruba election, do anything to the detriment of your party since you agree with me that you are a politician in uniform? Oh, a quote and unquote. You haven't surrendered your accoutrement. It is within that context. Every officer, whether you're a soldier, you are a police officer, immigration, you are an officer in uniform. Yes. Did he do anything to the detriment of your party in the course of the conduct of the Kumawu Youth elections? Vice, with the greatest of respect, uh, um, I, 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 I don't like this diamond of your party. Let's make an admission whether or not you know, he had a particular party in mind because it seems to me that uh, this is your party, your party, as if you are forcing it on him. But he is everybody's a politician, he says so. So, if you want to lay a foundation and then he wants to talk about it, yes, yes. with the greatest of respect, I was expecting council to have raised this. <laughs> Tondo was seen a bull was say to one was here to IGP if ready as so they say committee no it was so a yen she she more the baby should be a me the baby so more me the one who's you know now make him for as I see come come be a ton of just so the same say that was on a d as I see on come on you know for me zero five four seven six zero three zero eight five my camera bye bye